Hey, what's up guys? Random Andrew here. Welcome to a quick random vlog. Okay, it might not be so quick. I don't know. I haven't got done filming yet. I know I've had a lack of videos in the last couple of weeks. I'll explain that right now. I have been putting up with wet weather outside that and my back. I was pulling my air conditioner out and as a consolation prize, I pulled my back. Pretty good. One of the worst times I've pulled it yet. It actually kind of even hurts still to sit here and hold the camera like this out in front of me. It's not even that heavy of a camera, so it kind of shows. It's, a, it's the whole lower back. It's been a problem before, but I try not to let it be a problem for too long. We have a little reprieve from the rain. It's been raining for almost a week straight here, well, on and off. And I thought I'd throw something together for you guys. What are these on my face? No, I don't actually require glasses, although they don't look too shabby, do they? These are something I picked up about a year ago. I wasn't impressed, so I put them away, but we're going to try and make use of them today. Uh, we're going to take Clifford out. So, Clifford, if those of you who don't know, is a Traxxas Summit, 110 scale. He's a beast. Check him out. He's got the upgraded DeWalt motor, upgraded control arms, MIP axles, MIP or uh, upgraded alloy replacement axles, a single upgraded servo. I'm trying not to get in my own light right here. Hang on. Still running the EVX2 speed controller. You know, I'd love to replace this all with an 8 scale ESC and motor someday, brushless. That day has yet to come. So I'll finish buttoning this up, put the battery in them, and uh, we'll head down and find some mud. As I said though, I'm going to try and make use of just these, and we'll see what kind of a video I can put together. If it doesn't turn out too well, I'll still throw something together and hopefully it'll be semi entertaining. If not, at least it's a video touching base with you guys and getting Clifford out who hasn't been on camera in a while so let's try these out really hard to tell with these glasses I'm supposed to read instructions but when the instructions are in poorly translated Chinese it makes it really hard to read Well, I thought there was mud hills all in over here, but it's all growing in and it's not really mud. So we'll make use of this puddle. Pretty sure the camera lens is in this side of the glasses, so I'll, I'll address you guys to that side. I realize the image is probably grainy, the sound is probably just very low quality, but you know, I had yet to make use of these and put them in a video. I'll show you the box for them later, I'll show you what I mean about poorly translated Chinese. Oh, we got some puddles. I think how we dragged Clifford out for this, I thought I'd show you guys. I swapped out the Traxxas transmitter for this, Tower Hobbies transmitter. I only ever run it on a two channel anyways. So, yeah, why bother with the big fancy Traxxas remote? I got all my adjustments really quick and simple on this here.
It almost feels like it's trying to rain, folks. Still. I had to get outdoors for a little bit. I've been stuck indoors with this sore back of mine. Kind of glad to get out, even if it is in these conditions. Let's check out what's down here. flipper because that means I have to go down and get it. Her, him, flipper, it's a boy. Well, Clifford, you've left your mark. Our work here is done. What a beast, eh? <laughs> go, Clifford, go! Good boy. Now the problem with driving it full out like that, guys, is it heats up those brushes in the motor a lot. And then it starts kind of chugging. You still you don't get the power in the when the brushes get too hot, they start to coat the commutator and then you don't get proper tra power transfer. How's that sound? No. Come on, let's get you out of there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess what, guys? Lost opinion. Looks like we're carrying Clifford home from here. Oh, that sucks because he's all wet and dripping. Oh, that's totally what it is. If I had brought a tool kit, I could fix it and keep on running. Oh, well. Let's go home. Okay, so here is the glasses you guys just got done watching that footage from. I had a quick peek at the footage and I can say it's less than impressive, less than desirable but I'm sure I'll find a place to use these you know it could be while I'm paddling and just touring the countryside and good lighting the image isn't bad I give it that but otherwise low lighting it becomes very grainy and some of you guys who've been on the channel subscribed for a while might see these and be like wait a second you did a vlog on these yeah, but that was like a year or so ago, and I kind of doing an update as I'm going to try to put these to use. Now notice they do claim 1080p. They are very grainy. I give it that. Uh, there's a couple of little features real quick. This is recording anytime. Gives you your 1080p. Does photo support. 32 gigabyte card support. That's your micro SD card. Uh, movie 2.0, and I'm sure what that's about, and fashion design, well, I guess if that's your fashion. Right now it's got broken, uh, broken SJ cam pieces inside of it. Yeah, long story, it's in an old vlog. But here you go, and one other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick, you want to try and make sense of this for me? Section 3, let me get this close enough and still in the light. Section 3 above my thumb right there. See, it says camera. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. I'll read just a little bit for you. 
When the machine in shutdown state, insert TF card graphic to long according to boot key, double light, the system initialization after long break, blue light, red light out, the camera, the camera camera model in standby state, boot after short light, uh, centralization <laughs> three times, the lights, the camera has entered of camera. Like, okay. Guys, I understand things can be lost in translation, but if you're going to go through the trouble to print this, get a hold of somebody over here, have somebody help you with proper transla translation, give it so the consumer can have proper instruction and use of these. Now I've figured it out. You hold it, the button for a long period of time, like three, four seconds, and they turn on. And then it's a short press to activate the camera mode. I don't know about photo mode, but camera mode for video made good use of it that way. So as you guys probably gathered, it wasn't really an RC vlog. The RC was just the focus subject of trying to use those glasses to see if they would work, you know, when I want to go out and record some RC stuff. I do still want to do more uh, RC vlogs, but it's just it's an expensive hobby to keep up on and I've been trying to keep Clifford in good shape Long story short. I am still gonna do some RC vlogs But I tell you I really want to get doing a lot more camping vlogs. There's gonna be some cold weather camp trips uh, Possibly some local collaboration videos Some good stuff coming up and then aside from camping I do want to get doing more exploring videos. I love exploring. It doesn't have to necessarily be abandoned, but even exploring other towns and stuff and producing videos I can share with you guys of cool things found while exploring. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Think positive, stay positive, keep on smiling. I'll see you guys soon. Vlog over.